What's up, guys? Merry Christmas Eve. I just want to address something I've been seeing a lot on the gram lately. And that is, I, I don't mean any disrespect by, you know, I try not to like talk about like other coaches or anything like that. I'm not trying to like be like, I'm right and they're wrong. It's just a pattern. It's just a pattern that I keep seeing, um, probably because I follow a lot of nutrition people, a lot of coaches, a lot of health and fitness people. And I keep seeing this same pattern. <laughs> the coaches that teach the most restrictive mindsets around food, I am seeing like a nonstop stream of now that it's like Christmas time, holidays, this like shamey, it's like, the, like they're the ones that are teaching like the most restrictive mindsets with food. And there's, I keep seeing these posts of like, oh my gosh, like stop being so crazy. Like just enjoy your holiday, enjoy your food. Like you don't have to be so crazy around Christmas time. Just enjoy it. Right. I'm seeing that like crazy from those coaches specifically. And I'm watching this, like, <laughs> hold on a second. It's just, it, it really has pulled me into some deep thinking because what does that mean? It's like, okay, it, to me, it means all in, all out thinking. And it's a, it's a weird, it's, it's just like a weird relationship with food. Cause it's like, wait, so that's enjoying eating junky stuff at Christmas time. I, I, I don't get me wrong. I, I indulge in treats and things too. But what I'm trying to say is like, it's this mindset of like being healthy means you need to like suffer and like not eat things you like. And like just this really all in, all out approach to food. So it's like this. It's like, to me, Christmas time, vacation, <laughs> any time of the year, like it should all be the same. The way you're looking at food. It's, I want to fill my body with nourishing things because I care about myself and I want to feel good. And it's also okay. I, I always have the freedom to eat some things that aren't nutritionally perfect always. But when we get into this, okay, it's Christmas time. So now I can go all in on cookies and alcohol and treats and blah. And then, okay, as soon as it's over, I got to go back into like not being like that. I got to be really hard and intense. And it's, it doesn't need to be like that. That is the all in all out thinking that causes people to binge eat, have disordered eating patterns to get a negative association with healthy eating that like the junky stuff is like, yay, yay, yay. And the, and the healthy stuff is like, mm. that's what, it, that's what that mentality is. And I don't like it. It should feel the same all the time because of why the, why, why are you eating healthy? Why really? We are in such a messed up mindset around food that we think that eating healthy, the, the purpose of eating healthy is to be skinny, to not be fat. Like, are we really still that stuck in that mindset? We gotta, we gotta progress out of this. That's not what eating healthy is about. It's about nurturing your body that is busting ass for you 24 seven to make your life as good as it possibly can be. Think about what your immune system is doing for you right now, your respiratory system, your cardiovascular system. Your body is constantly doing everything it can to help you thrive and enjoy this life. Eating healthy is to support it in doing that. Hey, thanks body. Thanks for all you're doing. Let me give you some nutrients and make you not have to deal with like all this crap that hurts you all the time. That is why we eat healthy. In this immature mindset of like, oh, it's Christmas time. Like, I, I, I get it. You can eat, you can eat all that stuff. Your body is resilient. It can handle it. But it's this immature mindset of like what food is. It's an immature f mindset. You can have all the freaking cookies you want. You can have all the desserts you want. You can always have those things. It doesn't need to be this inner bully, like, no, don't do it. But it's what, what happens in my body as a result of eating a bunch of cookies and candy and ice cream and cake. What is actually happening after the whole mouth experience, which I understand is really great, but like, what is food? <laughs> That's my question. What is food to you? Think about what happens after it goes in and try to give yourself as many nutrients as you can to support your body in the freaking ceaseless work that is doing to help you live a good life. And sure, it can handle some, some cookies or some th other things sometimes, but for the most part, we want to be like, to me, it's gratitude. 
gratitude for what your body is doing for you. Self-love of like, <laughs> it's just like, I want to thrive. I want my body to have what it needs. I want to feel good. And sure, I can probably get away with some little things here and there and enjoy that mouth pleasure. But for the most part, what is food to you? And this mindset of, okay, it's holiday, so I can eat all the junk. And then once it's over, now I eating healthy is like sucky, is like kind of the mentality. And that is destroying us. It is that mentality is destroying human health. Eating healthy is not suffering. Like, do we see how backwards this is? <laughs> eating healthy is like crappy. Oh my God. And so that's why I don't like these like super all in, all out thinking type messages of like, okay, enjoy yourself. And then you got to get back in the saddle. If you are in that mentality, I know that you binge on crap. I know you do. I don't have to ask. I don't have to wonder unless you got really high dopamine. It's kind of like appetite suppressant. But when you have a mentality that you shouldn't be, shouldn't be eating the naughty things, <laughs> That's what happens is you eat one and then the floodgates open and you actually get a bigger dopamine response out of things, out of foods when they're restricted. Did you know that? Mm hmm. They have proven that. And so it's like, oh, well, I already ate one cookie. I might as well eat 25. And you just turn into this immature mess when instead it's like, okay, I know I can have that whole entire tray of cookies. Of course I can. But like, what is going to happen inside my body after I eat all that? Like, do I really want to do that to myself? Do I really want to feel like that? That's it. And if you keep that mindset year round of like, what do I want for me? What do, how do I want to feel? What do, thanks body for all you do. Here's some nutrients. And yeah, I can have some cookies, but like, I don't, I don't know how much I want to do. If we can keep that mindset, it, it, there's none of this like changing. It's just always the same when you're on vacation, when you're at a restaurant, when it's Christmas, it doesn't matter. It's, 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 we need to mature in our mindset around food. Eating healthy is a, a, a privilege. <laughs> Best is to always be on point, not back and forth. What matters is health and feeling good. Yeah. If you focus on health, if you focus on f how you want to feel, <laughs> it's real easy to make good decisions, right? You'll notice those junky foods that have been like owning you, they'll start to lose their luster when you really start thinking about what happens in your body as a result of eating them. You know, it's kind of like you actually like I, I have experienced this and many of my clients have experienced that they're like, dude, I used to like love donuts, but like now that I know I can have them and they're not this forbidden fruit and like I'm just thinking about like how I'm going to feel after they ca I actually realize they don't even really taste that good. Mm hmm especially when you start eating more nutrient dense, high quality foods a lot, that crappy, it's like, it's not even good anymore. Your tastes change, you know? So that's all I have to say is like, it's, it's Christmas Eve. You know, if you celebrate the holiday, it's like, it, it just shouldn't feel any different than any other day. <laughs> Christmas shouldn't feel any different than any other day. Because the mindset, the why of eating healthy, it, when that's in place, it's easy to be like, well, yeah, I can have that stuff, but I don't know how much I want to like do that to my body. So that's all my message. I just keep seeing this message of like super restrictive dieting to, oh my gosh, take a break, Susan. Just let yourself drink and eat cookies. It's Christmas. And that's the messaging from a lot of coaches I'm seeing. And I'm like, you guys are creating this like all in, all out thinking with food. It should always be the same because of how you're looking at food and your body and what it does. So anyway, okay, I got to go cook food now and I'm cooking lots of healthy food and we got some treats too, but, the, and that's how I always roll <laughs> all year, every, all the time, you know, it shouldn't change. All right. Have a good Christmas guys.